In this video, you're gonna learn exactly how to steal sales from your competitors on Amazon. Are you guys ready? Let's go. All right, guys, welcome to this video. In this video, you're going to learn how to spy and steal sales from your competitors on Amazon. So if you are currently selling on Amazon or you're looking into getting started on selling on Amazon, you want to make sure you watch this video and till the end. All right, but before we get started, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure that you number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, give this video a like. And number three, to enter our contest where we give out $100 to a person that does the following. Number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, likes this video. And number three, comments the word Amazon FBA below. If we pick you as a winner, we will be sending $100 directly to your PayPal. All right, guys, now let's get started. This lesson is going to be taught by our head coach, Ronnie. All right. Um, she's one of our head coaches inside the AMC Academy, which is our one on one coaching program. Now, if you've been looking into start selling on Amazon and you need some help, OK, say you don't want to do a digital course where you're just watching videos and you need someone there looking over your work with you one on one. Well, that's exactly what I offer inside my Amazon coaching program. I'm a true believer on coaching, and I think it's the only way to get people true results. So if you're number one serious about starting this business. What I recommend for you to do is number one, watch the completely free training video um, that I've created for you guys. As so you understand how Amazon works and how everything works. I'm going to leave it in the description right below. Um, make sure you watch that video. Okay. Then after watching the video, you're going to be able to apply for our coaching program. You do have to apply because since everything that we're doing is one on one and it's so personalized we can only take on so many people all right if you do get approved for the program you will be able to book a completely free zoom call with one of my team members on that call we're going to talk about your goals with the business we're going to answer any questions that you may have about selling on amazon and then we'll talk about how my team and i can personally help you start a successful amazon business all right without further ado let's get into the video all right everyone hey it's ronnie again here with ecom dave and we're just gonna go over some fun new tricks this week about reverse asin so you guys over here on overlook pro okay we have a lot of features that you can utilize that are really going to help you be successful with your amazon business this week in particular, we're going to be focusing in the sales optimization reverse ASIN. We also are going to be over here in listing optimization, listify ASIN. So I have two different tabs of Overlook Pro. Let's go ahead and get our first one opened. Right here for a sales optimization, we're going to click reverse ASIN. Now, while this thinks, all right, we are before this thinks, I should say, we have to get an ASIN or URL from Amazon. And then over here on the second tab, we're going to go down to listing optimization, listify ASIN. Again, same thing, very similar. We got to get an ASIN or a URL. We're going to come back over here to um, Amazon and we're going to get just that, the ASIN. So this week, I want to talk about a teacher planner. Um, to look up the different types of products, you would just type it in that Amazon search bar. And then as you know, you have an entire first page of sellers. So all you need to do is click your product scanner and you're going to be able to really break this down by revenue sales. And then of course, um, a lot of other things like search volume. Now, while this thinks, I, I just want to go over what a teacher planner is. Okay. So a teacher planner is of course exactly what it sounds like. It's a planner or organization tool that like teachers or maybe counselors or other types of people in that professional service would purchase for back to school. 
Now, what's interesting about a teacher planner is you're going to see that the numbers right now are just absolutely amazing. The thing with the teacher planner is this is what we would call a seasonal product because this type of product right here, guys, is going to thrive at a certain time of year, which is typically right now, July, maybe all the way till September, back to school time. So with products like this, it's not that you can't launch it. It's that you want to be thoughtful with when you launch it. So with a product like this, I am already at Amazon fully stocked, probably selling some units. Let's make our way back over here and let's check out the scanner. So as you can see, this is our product scanner. Our scanner breaks down in many different ways. Um, what it does guys is it scans that entire first page and it's just showing you some data. And this week we're trying to get the person that is making the most revenue. So we're gonna make our way here and we're gonna click that scanner one time and it's gonna show us that. As you can see, this is the teacher planner that is making the most revenue. So right here is that ASIN. We just have to copy it and then go back over here to reverse ASIN, paste it, search, and then click analyze. We're gonna do the same thing with Listify to write the listing. So you're gonna come here, you're gonna paste the ASIN, search, and it's gonna pull up that listing. Now, the reason I wanna show you reverse ASIN for a listing is because there's a lot of different uses for it, right? Again, this week's primary focus is reverse ASIN, which is going to give you a bunch of keywords like this. The keywords are gonna help you write the listing and they're also gonna help you with PPC. So simply put, the reason I love reverse ASIN when searching for keywords is because unlike keyword research where you get a broad search or you get a relevant search, this is gonna give you the most um, relevant keywords based off of this competitor right here. So it's pulling maybe their PPC results. It's pulling, for instance, the listing. It's pulling up the frequent in or word frequencies from this actual competitor or what the um, Amazon algorithm is finding for it. Reverse ASIN is awesome because it literally gives you such a more broken down, you know, response that is going to be tailored to, for instance, helping you write the listing or run your PPC. Now, as you can see, you have your keywords, okay? This is going to allow you to build that listing. And then you also have this little icon, which is like a little sun. This is showing that it's most frequent and peak during summer. So as mentioned, this is a nice little tip for you to look at with our software because it's showing you that this product behaves better during the summer months, as I mentioned earlier. So what's great about this, guys, unlike keyword research, reverse ASIN like literally gives you all of your keywords and you can still view it on Amazon by clicking this little circle and seeing if it's relevant or related. Now, I like to use keyword research by just copying the keyword. And if let's say I'm like going over here and I'm writing my listing, I can scroll down and I can just paste all the relevant keywords that I need to, giving me a much more structured easier way to get keywords. A little tip about reverse ASIN, just like keyword research, you always want to come here and look at that view on Amazon button as you do it. As always, guys, the keywords might sound similar, but look at how they're written completely different. You have the teacher's planner with an apostrophe, and then you have the teacher planner. So remember, all of this is based off of your customer searches. So you're copying and pasting each keyword as it is and bringing it over here and pasting it for your listing. Another great new feature added to all of our keywords is going to be the CPC column. The CPC column is so helpful because this is what allows you to see what the range is for when you run advertising in the future. Um, advertising on Amazon is PPC, pay-per-click, and this is how you're going to be able to rank your products and keep sustainability. Now, as you can see with the CPC column, I'm able to see the different ranges right here, which shows me this might be able to fit my budget. We will definitely be going over that in another video, but these are just some tips and tricks for today that we like to show you. 
So again, utilize that reverse ASIN. And if it's not something that you've ever seen and you're new to our channel, please remember that you will have a support system like us in our academy to help you understand all of this in depth. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Did you guys like that? Well, I hope you did. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, we are releasing a video, Amazon FBA related twice a week, okay? So a lot of information coming to you on both private label and wholesale side on how to sell on Amazon. And I'm also going to be creating more e-commerce based type of content. So if you've been looking for a way to make money online, well, this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe. Um, do us a favor, give this video a like, it helps us a lot. We worked very hard on bringing you all this grade A content, so make sure um, you give us a like. And don't forget to comment the word Amazon FBA on this video so you can enter our contest where we pick one lucky winner every time we release a new video and we send you $100 directly to your PayPal. All right, guys. Again, if you have any questions with any of this stuff, you can always follow me on Instagram, message me there, and I'll get right to you. Or just simply leave your questions below on this video, and I will be more than happy to answer them. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next.